Hi-O YouTube, my name is Dexter and welcome to this Friday special edition of Heroes of the Storm, where we're playing the Brawl this week, as I do every week, The Lost Cavern. A Ram, all random, all middle. Hopefully I get someone that I'm good at, or isn't complete trash. Uh... Mm. I'm just trying to think who I uh, would want to play here. I've been on a real z kick playing Zagara. Hey, look at that, I got Zagara. Or an Uberak. Um, hmm. Nidus Worm isn't gonna do us a lick of good here. I don't re- No, we need a tank. Never mind, I'll be a tank. <clears throat> yeah, I'm the only tank choice. Okay, I'll be an Uberak. Sure, why not? I like an Uberak. I hope it gives me a skin. I hope so. Yeah. Hope it gives me the skin that I have for him. Apparently, I'm a wireframe now. Okay, cool. <coughs> I'm nobody. Nope. Don't get my Uberak skin. Damn. Uh. All right. So, gotta kill the enemy, Lily. Should be, should be fun. Uh, I kind of want to take Regen Master because there is a lot of globes to collect around. Hmm, I'm torn. The Ruby, no, I'll take Regen Master. Fuck it. It's probably the worst decision I've made all day. And I mean, it is only 8:30, but still, it's probably the worst decision I've made all morning. Yeah, you better fucking run. So, for anybody un un anybody unfamiliar with how the ARAM works, you can't recall for any reason. There's absolutely no recall available. Um, if you lose health, you gotta go grab a fountain or a regen globe that's sitting around. Oh god, my team left me. My team has my team has left me. Uh, so, I'll talk about Anubarak here a little bit. Uh, my... Anubarak is an anti-mage tank. He's designed to counter mages. And he does that pretty effectively. With his ability to mitigate, uh... However much percent of magic damage that he takes. I think it's 20% of the magic damage that he takes he mitigates. Because he's just a big old bug. He's got innate spell armor. Which is pretty cool. Um... Bitch, you missed. Uh, the talent I could have taken at level 1, which I probably should have, admittedly, um, would have given me, uh, I think 70 or 60. What is it? Oh, no, it's 30% bonus spell damage mitigation, which is a, a fair chunk. Of ch it's a fair chunk, uh, on top of my already natural, like, 30%. So, uh, Anubarak's abilities are his Q button is, uh, what I'll show off here in about two seconds. It does this. Anybody hit by that is popped up into the air. Uh, my W button is a short-lived shield that mitigates some damage, and my E button is what I use to get away. It's called Burrow Charge. While I'm charging, if I hit an enemy while char- Get the fuck out of my way. Grab the- There we go. If I hit an enemy while charging, or rather, if I hit the button again while I'm charging, I can cancel the charge and pop anybody up around where I emerge from the ground. It's- really, really strong, and I can choose where and when along this path I can pop out of the ground from. It's great, I love it. Oh, we killed Cassia, cool. I'm about to die, though. Am I gonna- Oh, never mind, I'm getting out. Ha, you can't stop me, bitch. I'm gonna take Legion of Beetles. I, uh... The build I normally go with probably not gonna do me a whole lot of good here, because diving them uh, ain't gonna be doing me a lot of good. Uh, or at least not on an ARAM. Uh, but my passive is what I took to upgrade at level 4, uh, Legion of Beetles. Where the upgrade that I took spawns a beetle every 8 seconds. The other part of, uh, Anubarax, or Anubarax passive is that every time he casts an ability, no matter what it is, he spawns a beetle. And I can use these beetles to, uh, do all kinds of things. It's pretty much what I'm gonna be, uh, getting the majority of my, uh, survivability and damage out of this game. Oh, don't- No, I need those globes! <laughs> I need globes! Please wait for me to grab a globe. The regen master. 
<coughs> uh, but yeah, Regen Master, if I can grab 30 globes, I mean, I've got 11 of 30, uh, I get bonus health regen, and after I collect enough of them, I get a, uh, I get 500 bonus health. So, it allows me to be even tankier than normal. Yoink. <laughs> so, uh, hmm. A lot of shit. Oh, there we go. Oh, double kill. There we go. And now I'm going to take Leeching Scarabs at this level, just to make myself even more durable. So, the way uh, I should have taken, admittedly, at level 1, I should have taken Resilient Scarabs, had I uh, been thinking. I was not, but... <clears throat> uh... What my Leeching Scarabs do is every, at, every time a beetle attacks anything... Yeah, any time a beetle attacks, I get healed for 20% of the damage that it deals. It also increases the total damage of the beetles uh, by 50%, I think it said? Uh... No, other way around. It's 20% bonus attack damage that he moves from 50% of all the damage that they deal. Alright, so. Let's walk away from that. Let's go in. Let's help the team. There we go. Doing my job. Anubarak is one of my most played heroes. I've played him a ton. I think I've gotten like 160, 170 games out of him. I mean, that's that's not a whole lot compared, or like when you take into the uh, when you consider the fact that I've played over almost five thousand games, rather not over five thousand, almost five thousand games. But <clears throat> uh, like I said, or I think I said it last week. I don't remember what exactly it was, but there was a statement I made a while ago where <clears throat> I don't play any specific hero. Like I don't main anything. I play a ton of other characters. I play a ton of characters. I am a really, really strong flex pick character. And it... <clears throat> I want to say it shows, but that sounds kind of mean to say about myself. Because I don't play any particular... Like I said, I don't play any particular character. I play a lot of them. But Anubarak... Anubarak was my first true love in this game. I loved it. I loved the idea of Anubarak. Anubarak and Uther sounded badass. Oh, hey, Kel'Thuzad. Oh, look, look at that, I'm not even needed here. See, I'm not even needed. So, I'm gonna use my beetles to, uh, face tank the tower. Oh, okay. Well, <clears throat> Lee Ming's carrying us. A new Barak's scuttling over. I'm gonna take, Le uh, Scarab Swarm this game. Scarab Swarm, uh, does damage per second. Uh, and heals me for a flat amount. I think it's like, uh, yeah, it's like a third of the damage that it deals. But it heals me for every unique instance of damage. So, if I'm only hitting one person, I'm only getting one, uh, I'm only getting healed, uh, by 31 health a second. If I hit five people, I'm getting healed for 150 health a second. It's phenomenal. I want this. There we go. Region Master done. All right, so in we go, making it happen. It's not very um. Unfortunately, Scarab Swarm isn't very uh showy. It isn't very flashy. It doesn't really uh doesn't really seem like anything is happening. But trust me, it is one of the biggest reasons I was able to survive through that with as uh, much health as I did. Well, I say survive, but I was in no danger of dying. I. It's the reason why I got through that as safely as I did. That and my beetles. The old Anubarak build, which is unfortunately no longer the go-to, was uh, the old beetle build for Anubarak, where you just chose every upgrade for your beetle, or upgrades for your passive, and it was phenomenal. It put in so much damage, or it pumped out so much damage, it let you be so survivable, so durable. It was amazing. Because everything you did created a beetle. And those beetles would be not next to impossible to kill, but they put out a lot of damage. They pumped out a lot of damage. They gave you a lot of survivability. 
It just was fun. It was a good time for an Uberak. I'm, I know what they meant is fountain, but, or, yeah, they meant fountain, they said mountain. I would love to kill a mountain. I am a mountain. We've killed the mountain. Okay, that was probably the worst person you could have chose to, uh, use that on, but gotcha. I'm gonna grab this real quick. Because most of their damage comes from spells, and I mitigate spell damage. Hey, buddy. I would very much like to be the front line, but unfortunately, Anubarak isn't much of a front liner. He's a dive hero. And he's not even the best dive tag. I just like him. I like him a lot, because I play it a lot as him. I have him to, like, level... 40? No, not 40. Level level 25 or so? It's a lot. I, I've played him a lot. Long story short. You know what? I'm gonna take Burning Rage, because I want to do more damage over time. Yeah, I'll walk over to you, sure. Ah. Here we go! <clears throat> no, that's not good. No, that ain't good. I'm dead. This is where Anubarak dies, everybody. The spree had to end sometime. Oh, never mind. Oh, oh, I might get out. Ah! <laughs> I'm gone, bitch. I'm out. Out at 5,000. <laughs> you can't kill a Nubarak. I'm unstoppable. I'm going to go grab my fountain because I am hurting something awful. How much health regen do I have? I can't tell because I hate this new setup. Oh, 36 health regen a second. Cool. I hate this setup. I want to be able to click on my portrait and have my stats come back. I don't want to have to click on myself and then have to figure it out from here because this shit's tiny and I can barely read it um hey look I hit Lily. yep let's not stand in that let's not stand in Gul'dan's corruption all right so oh hey look it's Cassia hey look it's a dead Cassia <laughs> pro tip don't play frontline as Cassia it doesn't work that well I ain't stopping, buddy. The Anu Anubarak does not have any brakes. The pain train has no brakes. Oh, Lunara might die. The pain train ain't got no brakes, sister. The pain train ain't got no brakes. Okay, never mind. The pain train has brakes. Just kidding. No, it doesn't. Give me my health back. Oh, never mind, I died. <coughs> oh, that's not good. Well, we did get... Uh, nah, three for two. Not a good trade. Not a good trade. Uh, Yeah, not a good trade at all. But yeah, I like playing an Uberak. An Uberak is easily one of my favorite tanks in this entire game. I am a big fan of... Uh, I'm a big fan of Blaze. I'm a big fan of Diablo. I love an Uberak. Um... I don't play much Anubarak anymore, because I don't... It's because I don't know what I'm doing as Anubarak anymore, but I don't think he's in a very good spot right now. I could be woefully uh, misinformed, though, but a lot of heroes just seem to uh, have more mobility than Anubarak can keep up with. <clears throat> Which, I mean, it's not a not inherently a bad thing, but it does it is kind of annoying how... Power creep is a very real thing. Alright, blind me, I don't care. Catch these. I'm going to take Beetle's Beetle Juiced. Where every every third auto attack, I think it is, against heroes spawns a beetle for me. So I can just get more beetles. I can just get a ton of beetles. Bitch, I don't care about your abilities. I don't care! I'm killing Gul'dan! <laughs> I don't care, boys. Anubarak's just gonna walk up on you. Because that's a thing Anubarak can do. I'm gonna go grab this real quick. So I used my, uh, used my Scarab Swarm. You couldn't see it, but I used it. That's why it's on 100 second cooldown. <clears throat> His other ultimate, uh, Cocoon, just removes somebody from play for a little bit. It's, uh, really strong. <clears throat> I didn't take it, because I didn't want it. I just, I like, I, I like goofing off in a... Hey, buddy! Hey, Kel'Thuzad. Yeah, you better fucking run. <laughs> got her. 
<laughs> GG. Wait, how does Beatles... Oh, oh yeah, against enemy heroes. Okay. I'm killing the core. I don't care what they're doing, I'm gonna kill the core. Because I'm pretty sure they're killing the core with me. Hey, Uber, or hey, buddy. I'm an Uberac. I was gonna call him an Uberac. That's gold, man. I'm an Uberac. <laughs> yeah, an Uberac. He's fun. I like him. I I cherish every minute I get. I cherish. I cherish every minute that I get to play an Uberac. Uh, it's great. I love this hero. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. But there we go. Am I on the board? Hell yeah, I'm on the board. I tanked a lot of damage. Entirely because of Malfurion. But I tanked a lot of damage. I like it. It was fun. That was a good game for me. I played well. I didn't really. But I didn't get punished for all of my stupid decisions. It was good. It was good. Unfortunately, the biggest problem for the enemy team is that they did not have a tank. And that would have uh, that would have changed my game plan a lot. I wouldn't have gone for leeching Scarab build. But I'm going to go. For those of you who are new, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. But if not, carry on your merry way. But for the rest of you ramblers, I'll catch you on next week. Not in the next episode. I'll catch you next week. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everybody. It's been a ton of fun.